They're going for us outside. I know when I drove in this morning, the moon looks nice and clear. Mm -hmm. But then when we showed the, some of the camera shots at FAMU, it looks hazy. Like, I guess the fog or we got some clouds going on. Uh, both. We've okay. Got, we, we've got some haze and we got some fog. And yeah. I think we're going to see more of that haze as the day goes on. So something to keep in mind. We're adding a little extra moisture to the air. We're getting a little bit more humid. And that will change the way things look and feels outside. A lot of us are starting near 60. Going to top out probably up over 85. Got to 88 yesterday. No reason we don't get right back to about that same number. And even more spots I think will start even higher in the 60s tomorrow morning. Here are some of those clouds to the north and west trying to spill into our skies. And at times today we'll see more clouds. At times today we'll see fewer clouds. But I do think clouds are going to be part of the deal today and all weekend. All of the real organized weather. And there's quite a bit of it way out to the west like Oklahoma and Arkansas and Missouri and Nebraska West. That's where the big rains and storms will be for most of us. I don't think there's going to be very many showers at all. I can't rule out an isolated sprinkle as we start to warm and get more humid and unstable, but we don't have all the ingredients lining up to talk about any kind of widespread rain event. An isolated, a rogue shower at best is probably the most we're going to find. It's 60 right now in Valdosta, 59s for Tallahassee and for Thomasville. Not much of a breeze to stir things up, so we are going to be on the lookout for some of that fog, and we are absolutely going to find some. Bainbridge and Marianne at 62, some of the warmer spots. You see that Highway 319 corridor from Tallahassee to Thomasville and Moultrie, all at 59, and we're at 60 this morning in Perry. So we've got a real tight grouping of temperatures, a couple degrees either side of 60. Now that breeze today, if there is one, it'll be more from the southeast, but I don't think it's going to be a breezy day, so it's going to feel maybe a little extra sticky out there just because we're not going to have that breeze to stir things up. So many visibilities are dropping from Mariana to Quincy to Perry all at a half mile in Valdosta just below two miles in Live Oak and in Cross City. It's three miles. So yeah, we've got the fog out there and we're likely going to find more areas with more patchy fog the next couple of mornings. You know the vermin are going to be out there lurking, so take it nice and slow on the roads. There are some big storms out through parts of Oklahoma, and we'll keep our eyes on this energy as it tries to move east but runs into that big wall of high pressure that's going to be hanging on and reasserting itself up and down the east coast. So a lot of that energy is heading more north and around our part of the southeast, which means our forecast isn't going to change much. Future cast here shows some clouds at times, maybe an isolated sprinkle if we're lucky. It's a little too early in the air for the sea breeze to fire up any showers to cool things down, so we are likely going to get prolonged periods of temperatures mid 80s and even upper 80s for the next several afternoons, especially when we get more sunshine than clouds and there'll be some pockets where it is absolutely more sunny than cloudy, but I do think clouds are part of the deal on the Gulf today. East and southeast winds 5 to 15 seas 1 to 3 feet. Nothing that we're going to call breezy. Not bad for the boaters. It's 50s and 60s this morning. Sun will be up before 7 by the way this afternoon. Middle and upper 80s where we're headed. I'll leave that rain chance at like 10% or even lower, so I don't expect showers. I just can't rule out an isolated sprinkle. Tonight should be a real nice night for the Rose Parade and any outdoor plans you got. It will be maybe just a little bit muggy, and I think we'll find a little more patchy fog early tomorrow morning. Most of us tomorrow are going to start in the 60s. And there's that seven-day forecast. I'm, I'm a little stuck on number 88 there. But I think that's pretty much where those top temperatures are headed. Maybe a couple degrees either side of that for the next five to seven days. So lots of warm on the way. Of course, May starts early next week. It's going to feel like it.